now let us discuss about overview of mass storage structures in this concept mainly we will discuss about two mass storage structures mass storage is nothing but uh, secondary storage structures such as the first structure is magnetic disk whereas the second one is magnetic tape so mass storage structure is nothing but secondary storage structures so first let us see about magnetic disk the magnetic disk is coated with magnetic material so that's why this disk can also be called as magnetic disk magnetic disk can also be called as hot disk hot disk is mainly useful in order to store large amount of data so that is bulk amount of data hard disk can stores the data permanently so permanently means when we switch off the computer then the contents of the hard disk won't be lost the content will resides permanently in the computer so that's why we can call hard disk as non volatile memory so non volatile means when the power is turned off then the contents won't be lost the contents will resides permanently in the computer whereas coming to the main memory that is ram it is a volatile memory why because when the power is turned off then the contents of the ram main memory will be lost and one more important point here is magnetic disk is called as secondary storage device whereas ram is called as primary memory main memory is called as primary memory why because cpu can execute a program when the program resides in main memory so that's why main memory is called as primary memory but cpu can't access the content of the secondary memory cpu cannot access the content of the hard disk so that's why hard disk can be called as secondary memory next hard disk is a collection of platters a collection of platters a platter is just like a cd it is in round shape next platters are subdivided into a number of tracks next tracks are subdivided into a number of sectors sector stores data here in order to perform the read write operations on the sectors we use is read write head so read write head allows us to perform read operation and write operation on the sector here if read write head points to a rotating platter so a platter will always be rotated when the hard disk is working so when the read write head points to rotating platter then the disk will crash so that can be called as head crash or disk crash next let us analyze the magnetic disk that is hard disk performance with the help of the performance parameters here we have three performance parameters the first two performance pra parameter is transfer rate transfer rate the second parameter is seek time the third parameter is rotational latency rotational latency so transfer rate means or we can uh, transfer rate means uh, it is the time which specifies the transfer of the data from hard disk so from hard disk to computer the transfer time is called as transfer rate and the next one is seek time 
next one is seek time so it is the time it is the time uh, by the read write head to move to the desired track so here platter is nothing but a collection of tracks so it is the time seek time is the time taken by read write head to reach the correct track desired track whereas here seek time can also be called as seek time can also be called as positional time positional time or this can also be called as random access time random access time so seek time means the time taken by the read write head to reach appropriate track various rotational uh, time or rotational latency means the time taken by the read write head to reach appropriate sector so rotational time means the time taken by the read write head to reach appropriate sector various seek time means to reach appropriate track so with the help of these three parameters we can analyze the performance of the hard disk and the hard disk can be removable so we can remove hard disk from the computer and we can attach a new hard disk to the computer here we can attach hard disk to the computer with the help of io bus input output bus we have different types of buses such as we have scsa bus usb bus next to fiber channel fiber channel so these are the uh, and next we have ata sata so likewise there are different types of buses which can be used for attaching hard disk to the computer so this is about magnetic disk now let us discuss about magnetic tape now we are days we are using magnetic disk only in the olden days we use magnetic tape it is also useful in order to store data permanently in the computer so that means magnetic tape is also a non volatile memory so when the power is turned off then the contents of the magnetic tape won't be lost they will resides permanently in the computer magnetic tape is also used for storing bulky amount of data large amount of data magnetic tape is also a secondary storage device just like a magnetic disk but the major difference between magnetic disk and magnetic tape is magnetic disk access time is very very faster various magnetic tape the access time is very very slower here magnetic tape the access time is 1000 times slower than magnetic disk so magnetic tape access time is 1000 times slower than the magnetic disk magnetic tape mainly provides sequential access sequential access so that means if we have 10 records then all the 10 records will be accessed in sequential manner one by one so if we want to access the 10th record then we must access all the records before the 10th record whereas magnetic disk provides random access we can access any record directly we can move the pointer read write head pointer to any desired location yes we want okay and one more important point is so it is also a secondary storage device so here the magnetic tape storage capacity is from 20 gb to 200 gb so when compared with magnetic disk magnetic tape storage capacity is small we know that magnetic disk storage capacity will be in terabytes like 1g 1024 gigabytes so its capacity is very very huge here uh, for magnetic tape 
in order to move read write head to the appropriate record it will takes more time so it will takes more time to place read write head at desired position but the data transfer rate but the data transfer rate is very very faster just like a magnetic disk so the data transfer rate of magnetic tape and magnetic disk both are same only okay but in order to place the read write head at appropriate record it will takes lot of time okay it will takes lot of time so nowadays we are not using magnetic tape so in the olden days we will you we, we, we use this that magnetic tape so this is about uh, the overview of uh, mass storage structures or secondary storage structures